in the whole season. So for me, I want to see a little bit more out from Breakaway Esports this season. Again, I want to see them back in playoffs. I think it's the bare minimum mark that they need to be looking for right now. Well, we're heading back across to Korea. We're going to start off all this week with Busan. And let's see how this goes. Order up against Breakaway. As I said, order, it's kind of half the old order, plus a couple of really nice hangers on. One might suggest Breakaway, the ex-Tainted Minds roster. TM going to be looking for certainly an improvement from last season. Let's see if it's going to be enough for them in Season 3, 2018. Tristamal going to be the first one down. Merritt coming out, showing what he's got there on the uh, on the Zenyatta. Judation will bring one back for now. You just see a great point. focus fire yeah. right now from order right now. They get the initial pick, then they lose a trade. Obviously, Quat's going down, but straight away, Quad J gets de-met. And order will start to pull ahead. They've got more players on the field, more impact available to them right now. Adam will survive as well. So many players for order going low, but getting out. There's a Graviton surge straight away, though, from oh, or J, but a responding one in kind from Jordation. And this one reaps the rewards for order as everyone gets a piece of the pie there. And order will take the first cap. Yes, a, <laughs> a very clean uh, fight win there coming out from Order with Jordation's grab surge coming through just in the nick of time. And that is to be sure. Easy, easily done, really, when you take a look at it. Yep. Nice little clean sweep for them. It'll Yuki. Rally. Yep. Sound Barry going to come out this time from Breakaway Self Destruct, however, from Adam looking for some kills. Not going to find anyone this time around. Breakaway still not being able to get onto the point here. Tristamal was low, as was Slidsaw J. Maybe the healing not where it needs to be just yet. Baby Poro does have that trance ready and available. Merritt going to use his first, however. Baby Poro not uh, reciprocating for now. So one for one, Adam down, d field down. Yuki going to get the better of the Brigitte. Another grab. Yeah, look at this so early on. Another Graviton Surge. Going to see Order come out on top of this fight. Quats jumping into the air, landing right on top of Jervis there. And that should be enough. So funny to see Quats in this Order roster because initially uh, for Sydney Drop Bears, when they obviously secured Trill, they said, okay, Quats, you can look for other opportunities. And he went to Order, which is now essentially Sydney Drop Bears' biggest con contenders this season. They're the biggest competitors. Yeah. And now they've literally given what was considered the best main tank in the region behind Trill over to their best opposition when now they need a main tank. Let's see what Quats can do, whether he can do that damage for order. Slits or Jay, that was eaten. Somebody scooped it up. It must have been Adam. Yeah, great plays coming out from the off tank there. Quats with the Primal Rage right into the back line, causing a bit of a ruckus here. Order tick, tick, ticking away up to 87% right now here downtown on Basan. Chris Mal going to go down as well to Adam. The self-destruct available. Trance comes out. Are we even going to use the self-destruct into the middle? This does not even need to for now, but maybe the damage not coming out just as much as they want to. 99% breakaway, trying to capture the point back. Adam throws out the self-destruct on the point. Jordation finds two. Quad J going to go down to the self-destruct as well. They did manage to capture the point, but not for long order. We'll pick this back up and should pick downtown up. Yeah, I don't think that there's going to be much of a recontest at all. Overtime will not be secured much longer. It was actually Jordation's grab that was eaten by Quad J, not vice versa, as we did see Slits or J throwing his out on that final point in the end. But pretty much the expected result. Order able to very, very easily clean up Busan, at least the first round, mm. I should say. Not quite Busan yet. Convincing, though. We take a journey through the mountain. Convincing yes. indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Trisamel will go back over onto the Reinhardt. I think uh, maybe a little bit more comfortable on the Reinhardt than on the Winston. In this matchup, though, let's see what Order can do. Name of the game, jumping onto the back line. Jervis, Baby Poro, squishy targets. Those are the ones you want to remove. Of course, if you can get Trisamel to start things off, that would be lovely, but not so easy to burst down a Reinhardt as it is to burst down a Zenyatta. Well, we're going to kick it off here, heading across to Sanctuary, Elfish Guy. Order 1 0 up. His mini best of three on Vassan. One of the first times these teams will have played this competitively as well. They haven't had much opportunity to try out this new map. Was not in Season 2. Let's see how this plays out. Order going to find the first couple of kills and a, a couple of crucial kills to be perfectly honest, and they'll be able to pick this one up 
very, very quickly. Breakaway, unfortunately, falling away up against what looks to be a, a bit of a better lineup here for Order, Jordan. Yeah, well, definitely a strong opposition to go against, especially in the current meta. Yuki was always considered to be a very, very strong Big E to play on. Right now, this season is going to be hinging quite significantly on the Brigitte players. So to have him in your roster for order, pretty pretty good to see. Breakaway, we'll try to make a second contest here of it. Quartz going to be leading the charge, does have a bubble there to keep him safe. Oh, Absolutely Trisimale. no damage done to Quartz by the time the Trisomel goes down. Perfect execution, perfect timing from order. And they are a very solid coordinated unit. Yeah, look, I don't want to summarize this best of four already off Ishkai, but it, it kind of feels like Order might be able to get the better of Breakaway here, at least on Basan. If, uh, if Breakaway want to bring this back, do something different, you're going to have to succeed on some of the other map types because control is all going in Order's favor right now. Three, almost six ultimates here available for Order. That'll be up almost before the fight starts, one would suspect. Breakaway trying to push through. Tristamal went down early last time around. Is it going to be the same this time? Flitzel J does have that grab surge available, as does Jordation. You're going to see one thrown out here from Breakaway, but it's not really going to have the impact that they want. Saying that, they struck. have taken out Jordation, so no grab surge available. But it's Adam, it doesn't matter. He doesn't need it, Elfish guy. He finds Jervis. Oh, and look at, at that peel Flitzel from Adam. J. Look at that peel from Adam. Unto was on the ground. Quad J just shooting at his face, but the defense matrix keeps him alive and order. The individual stepping up right now. It was looking dire for them for a moment. Quad J will try to respond in kind, but this self-destruct not going to be nearly as impactful as Adam's. And Order, once again, have a favorable fight as the Graviton Surge is thrown out by Jordation. Look, Breakaway did manage to capture the point here, Jordan, but Mark some might suggest it's only a matter of time. Trismar, Quad J, going to get removed in this one at least. Quad J did take out Adam's Mech 4 now, but the follow-ups here coming from Order will clean up Breakaway, and they will be able to capture this point back. They're already at 86%. So this will break, be Breakaway's last hope to get across onto the point and do something about it. Mm. As Trismal goes down, he throws out the Earth Shatter in one yeah. last vain hope. It was a very is, desperate yeah. Earth Shatter. He was even just trying to keep himself alive. He was the only one there, and he knew if he went down, the fight was already lost before it even started. Order, super, super solid there on Busan. Big individual plays as well to turn that fight around. The coordination, the dives looking mm. phenomenal here from, Sir, well, I almost said Sydney Drop Bears, because I was looking at Quats uh, from Order. Ah, uh, Quats. So, look, what can you, what more could you really have expected out of that matchup? No. Order just going to show how dominant they are. At least they're on control. Series yep. is not over. Yep. No, it's true. Still got three maps left, but it's a great start coming out from this brand new Order lineup number of good plays from them. They look convincing across the board uh, for Breakaway. Maybe uh, a couple of things to look at, but the problem is, the reality is here, Jordan, that up against a, a team of very talented individual players, it, it can be difficult at this level. Yeah, definitely. I, um, no questions about that for Breakaway Esports. They're probably not even expected to get a map here, to be honest. Good stuff from Adam. I want to focus on the, the peel there, but I don't think we're going to get to see it with the replay. That's something that is often undersold when when you look at D.Va players. You know, you, you look at, obviously, the self-destruct kills. And, yeah, the self-destruct uh, kills. Grab, eating the grav. Yeah, uh, eating the grav. But also, when you when you see those support players under pressure, the D.Va needs to be there to help them out, and that was definitely the case there for Adam. It's, it's not something that we really talk about too much because it's a lot hard to spot, but right there, it was really plain to see the, the work that Adam was putting in to keep his... The support's alive. Good stuff from Order. Now we move on to Hollywood or Numbani. Uh, I think for Breakaway Esports, if I do remember, they did used to pick Numbani quite a bit, obviously yeah. back in Season 1 when they were Tainted Minds. Maybe we'll expect to see that one coming out here. Kind of hard to say, though, obviously. It's, meta it's is so different now <laughs> as well. Completely different Season meta. 1, Numbani was dive after yeah. dive. Who was better? You know, at the time, it was uh, the ex... Uh, was, was it the... Blank was it Blue? Blank Blue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... This time around, obviously, the meta very, very different as we will move on to map two very, very shortly here. Elfwich Guy says Numbani. Samman says, I've really got no clue. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I've really got no clue either, to be honest, Let's but throw that it would up. be my guess. Oh, hey. there you go. Look, congratulations. You yep. got something right today. Yeah. 
Uh, all right, so Numbani is something that uh, Tainted Minds did like to play. Now, obviously, two seasons later, they are Breakaway Esports, mm. but they are very much uh, the same team. Slids or Jay, he always enjoyed playing the Farah here. Baby Poro, the Mercy, the combo there for, for Breakaway Esports. Probably not going to be seeing so much of that again here this season. Uh, that was obviously on the attack. I guess you could play Farah a little bit here on Numbani. Depends what order we're going to be playing, but by and large, what we're going to be seeing, again, Ben, is is going to be the GOAT's composition out from both sides, and we've already seen that Order are much more comfortable playing that than what Breakaway are. They have the advantage in that case, and if you're going to try and beat them at their own game, mm. good luck. Here's, here's the thing, right? So we take a look at this Order starting off on defense, Breakaway on attack. Look, there is a, a serious potential for this to be a, a very quick map. Ben, right I just got to ask you a question: Is this a replay from season two, or are we actually watching season three? Because right now we got Yuki on Barra, we got Jordation <laughs> on Soldier. I don't see any goats comp at all. Oh, this is man, fantastic. We're, we back, boys. We are back. What more could we want? I'm kind of sick of the goats, to be honest. Who isn't? <laughs> Well, it's new fire. Let's see what Yuki is going to be able to do. Same for Slids or Jay. Both pretty good fire players in their own right. D-Field onto the Sombra. Straight onto the point, though, is Breakaway in order. Not really contesting just yet. One tick already picked up. Yeah, allowing almost 70% to come oh, through two for here. One. But Yuki, so good on the fire. Order up. Would you like fries with that? Yeah. Yuki, actually, he wants the Sombra with that as he gets a third. And that's easy peasy done for order. Yuki raining down hell from above. Only 51% charged up by him. This the uh, team effort. Merits at 86% of the nano boost as well. Having some trouble hitting the shots onto Jordation there, but we'll get there in the end, mate. Nobody saw it. <laughs> yes, well. So, three minutes on the clock. Still plenty of time for Breakaway to come back through. Slits all. Very close, though, to having the Rocket Barrage Ooh. available. Trismal going to jump up onto the high ground very, very low, as is Jarvis. Going to go down to Slitzor J. So, unfortunately, this second push going to be stopped in its tracks. They're saying it's tracks, Jordan. Ooh. And this train never got going, to be honest. That was a pretty wayward dive from Trismal. He just went to the complete wrong part of the high ground. Order were thinking, what is this? Winston's going over there. We're over here. Hello? We're not under pressure at all. Jordation Yuki just firing away at him. Only the nano boost used in that round, or that sort of fight, I should say, from Merritt. So it's a Jay again, time and time again. We've seen him play from this position with Farah. That was back in Season 1, though. So far, not finding the openings in Season 3. Oh, Yuki. Bit of a whiff. Yeah, trying to boop them off the high ground for now. Slits with Jay and D field, both with ultimates available. Adam has a self destruct. Quats has popped that primal rage as well. Jordation, you can see getting chased back by that Tesla cannon, but he has the heals behind him. And right now, this primal rage is going to be popped right in the middle of the hallway. They've lost their Lucio as well here, Jordan. So, order potentially in a good position. Finally, Soldier going to go down to D field. Yuki, though, has a barrage. Slits or Jay throws out his first, picks up the tank. That's not bad. Picks up Adam as well. That's even better. Finally, breakaway looking like they're getting some favor. Going to pick up point A. Yeah, pretty nice stuff from Trismail. Even though he wasn't able to get the kill onto Jordation, he put him out of position for so long. The tactical visor had absolutely no impact because Jordation was just running around the whole time. And then inevitably, he fell back onto the point. And the timing was good for Breakaway to pick him up. Slits or Jay also a pretty nice rocket barrage out as well. Not sure how Yuki didn't end up getting the kill onto him. Perhaps Quan Jay was there with the defense matrix. The first shot definitely did connect, but the second did not. Breakaway will change their roster up. So two will order. We're back to season three normalcy. Back onto the GOATS composition. It's the Mountain Goats for order. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's November, not March. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Got to get your times right, Jordan. Adam with the self-destruct available, but a spot's going to go down first. Yeah. Breakaway going to get that first crucial pick combined with the sound barrier. Going to chase down the rest of order here. Adam going to get picked up in just a moment. There you go. See you later. Quads you know, just overextending. Nice little flow, really. Didn't have the backup. Left a little bit high and dry there by his teammates, but Quats was the only one in that fight to begin with. As he dove, but no one else from order did. Jordation is going to swap off the McCree. Onto the Zaya, and thus the cycle completes itself. Order will fall back onto the GOAT's composition. One more attempt for them to hold on to point B. It'll be Quats to lead the charge. He's got Primal Rage. Tristan gets low early. 
is self-destruct coming out from breakaway. Doesn't find anyone. Tristan Mal going to throw out the Earth Shatter. This time, not bad at all. Finds a number of players onto the ground, and Hunter's going to be followed up there and picked up self-destruct from Adam. Looking oh, for Wolfon. Finds baby Poro. Slits or Jay's found out by Quats. Quats. As is Tristan Mal. Big primal rage, and Merritt does what Merritt does and finds a couple on his own. Yeah, how do you even expect to win that fight as order under getting picked off so early, but just again, the two tanks here, Quartz and Adam. Adam with one from the self-destruct and two on the primal rage for Quartz to finish off a couple. Nicely done, breakaway. They put a lot into that fight, but they still have quite a lot as well. Get the nano boost onto oh, Trizamail while there's a Grab out from Slizor J. That's the dream. It was eaten oh, again. Oh, um, nom nom. Diva says thank you for the snack. And Breakaway, unfortunately, not going to get the success. They won out of that one. Adam going to get d here as well by Trusamal. So that's not bad. This might be the start, finally, that Breakaway needs. They could have certainly used that half-decent uh, grab, though. However, Quad J picked up by Quats. Adam back into the mech now. Stays alive. Jordan is into key. the fight. He has the Graviton Surge right now and can throw that out. Hunter, sound barrier, but it's probably not needed. Grav will connect. The follow-up is just about there as Merritt does finish yeah. off Tristan Mayo. Again, good stuff from Order. They're really putting Breakaway under pressure. And Jordation surviving there because of the rally armor. When he did get shattered sitting on top of the cart, it took so long. For Tristan Mal to even do any considerable damage to him, to even get through the shield, that he was able to stand back up and put a bubble down on himself. And as a result, time built in. The Graviton Surge proves to pay off for Jordation. Slitzel J this time. He's earned himself yet another Graviton Surge. Going to be trying to avoid the defense matrix the second time around. Yuki, as you can see with the rally, armor for everyone, order. Sitting on the payload, 20 seconds remain. If they can hold this Adam's fight, asleep. they should be successful. Grab Surge comes through, self-destruct as well. Looking for the hole in one. Finds Jordation. Yuki down as well. Adam trades one back. That's Quad J. I don't know if it's going to be enough, however. The oh, trance right. does come through. Maybe that will keep order alive in this particular situation. Anna down to Adam. Merritt picks up Slits or J as well. We're into overtime on the point, but breakaway. Unfortunately, starting to fall away off the point. Order going to stop them again here in their tracks. Mm -hmm. Point A, not so bad to begin with to start with from Order. Breakaway did manage to get through. Point B, a little bit more difficult. Yeah, a couple of players just getting isolated in that final fight for Breakaway Esports. Order able to finish them off very nicely indeed. Adam consistently being able to get value out of these self-destructs, even if it is one kill. Yep. That's uh, a big opener to the fight. A solid defensive hold from Order, not allowing them past point B. 95.6 meters is all that's required after capping out first. Uh, for Order, that certainly seems like a doable prospect. We'll see Jordation and Yuki on to Sombra and Genji. Quats, to be honest, I'd love to see it, but definitely not going to be happening here. We'll just see him swap over onto the Winston. Haven't seen too much Wrecking Ball this season, unfortunately. Seems to be falling a little out of favor. Ready for battle. Breakaway Esports. I'm ready for the dive, Jordan. I'm ready for order to go all out here. Let's just do it. Mum, get the recorder. Yeah. We're going in. Attackers incoming. Even better with the Wrecking Ball. I'll take that any day of the week, Merritt. Any day of the week. See, the trouble with Wrecking Ball is that because Merritt likes to throw balls at people, Mm. He can't really throw himself so easily what at do you people. Mean? You just sort of swing up and then hit shift. Yeah, but you don't headshot people with the wrecking ball ball. Yeah, you you headshot all of them in one big ball. There it is. Still thinking about ball throwing characters, but it's actually going to be Anna to finish things off. No shenanigans here from order. Standard tried and true dive comp. Yeah, let's see how this plays out. Yuki ready to jump up there onto the high ground. See how that plays out. We'll see what Dfield can do with this soldier as well. They're just holding on for now, trying to play a smart order. Everyone still with full health. Adam's looking for Sombra. Yeah. Where are you? 
Always need to be careful. And it's Deepfield going to go straight away down to Yuki on that Genji. They're on to the point. You can see the Quad J almost down as well. Healed up for now. Adam back up onto the high ground. Drops back down. They're going to have to try and take this out if they want to hold the fight. Not going to happen though. Breakaway starting to fall apart. Order going to find point A and will do so very, very quickly. Yuki, he's a monster, Jordan. Oh, well, he hasn't been put under any pressure at all, Ben. He's just been able to sit there and hold down left click, throw a couple of shifts in here or there. He's been able to build up a Dragon Blade in one fight. Very easily done. Order just pushing Breakaway into the building and forcing them all to group up, which is obviously going to be great because anything Order throws at them is basically going to connect. Initial pick straight away as well. They were able to play that out, 5v6. Five minutes and 17 seconds now to get what is probably only 70 meters as I speak. Order are already pushing forward. Yeah, they do not have to get very far at all, Jordan. One and a half good fights might be enough to get them around the corner here. You Merit can hear the, the Dragon Blade. Jervis going to go down to Yuki. He's looking for more, but he's not being as successful maybe as normal. But two, hey, you'll take that any day of the week. Continuing to take on players, but you can see Breakaway starting to force their way back. Yuki surely goes oh. down here. Just actually goes down to Trismal. Both players very, very low. Jordation actually will take the Winston down in the end. You can see he's got that EMP saved up as well. So this next fight for order, when you take a look at what they have in their inventory, Jordan, it's almost a certain win. Yeah, it was a good option for Breakaway to try and engage that fight on their own terms. It'll give them a chance for a second attempt to hold. Uh, but like you said, what Order have got in their back pocket is quite a lot. Slids or J needs a big EMP here to really open things up right now. Otherwise, Order are going to get their own EMP out and they're going to follow up on it. You can bet your bottom dollar of that. Self-destruct from Order will find Tristamal and that will be that, Jordan. There is really nothing that Breakaway can do here. They've lost their Brigida. They've lost their Winston. Quats has a primal rage. It is now only a matter of time. Quad J does get d -mech. The primal rage not even popped yet. Sure, they lose Jordation, but it will not matter. Two and a half minutes, uh, two and a half meters remain. And well, it's going to take less than about 20 seconds, if any. If 20 seconds at yeah. all, that'll be that. Easy. Order. Picking up the, the two caps. And that'll be picking up the 2-0 as well. A much quicker series mm. so far than mm. our previous. And so far, so good for Order. Really not seeing too much of anything concerning. They're barely dropping players even. And so far, super, super solid as we expected over Breakaway Esports. Yeah, I guess the, the reality is here that it's a very tough opponent to go up against in your first... Uh, First match of Season 3 contenders. Even even though we say we expect uh, that this XTM roster will have grown and improved, you're probably not going to be able to grow and improve past the point of these six players we're seeing right here for Order. No, definitely not. There's uh, still quite a lot more on the side of Order than there is for Breakaway Esports. I mean, Breakaway Esports, I think, are fairly solidly situated now within the Overwatch scene as, yeah. as one of the better teams in the region. But it depends on, you know, when you when you're what you're considering that up against. You know, what's the context? Are they better than 99% of Overwatch players in Australia? Probably yes. Are they better than the top four? Absolutely not. No. So it's really context at this point. Uh, unfortunately for Breakaway, Esports, they're not quite as good as Order by the looks of things. Order's definitely better than 99% of players and maybe even 99% of players in contenders. Well, they're doing pretty well for now, that is for sure, Jordan. And a great start to the season. 2-0, two, two very quick map wins coming out from Order. We're going to head into a break right now. When we come back, the last two maps in our second match of the day. We'll see you soon.